Hello friends and welcome. I am Holly and this is my holistic life. Hopefully I can make your life a little bit more holistic as well. Today I'm going to move us through a gentle chair flow. So if you'd like to join me, go ahead and grab a chair. It can have uh, armrests if you'd like it to. They're actually a really great extra little support system, but I'm gonna use a chair that does not have armrests. I actually don't think I own a chair with armrests, but either, either kind of chair will work. This will be a great flow for uh, people with limited mobility, people who might have knee problems and kind of have a harder time getting um, up and down from the floor. So if you know anyone, um, maybe a parent, maybe, I mean, honestly, anyone might have um, mobility issues. My knees are getting worse and worse. So um, being able to use something as common as a chair inside the house uh, can can really be empowering and make you feel like you can still move the way that you should. So if you've got your chair and you're all ready to start moving, then let's get started. So let's start actually sitting in the chair with our back against the backrest, with our feet on the floor and our hands on our legs. And we'll just arrive here feeling gravity in our feet, feeling gravity on our backside, and feeling gravity, um, well, maybe not feeling gravity, but feeling presence of our spine on the back of the chair. Grounding our hands through the tops of our thighs, Let's take an inhale and let it go. One more inhale and exhale. Feeling the hands on top of the thighs. Let's inhale and just gently press the hands into the thighs feeling the compression of the legs, feeling the hands pressing down, and exhale, release the press. One more time, inhale, the hands press down, and exhale, release. Now with your next inhale, let's press the hands into the thighs and allow the chin to lift very gently up towards the ceiling, lengthening the front of the body. And exhale, bring the chin in towards the chest, continuing to sit nice and tall in our chair, feeling our feet on the floor. Inhale, press the hands into the thighs, press the feet into the floor. Feel the activation of the legs and the arms as our chin rises. And exhale, releasing the press and bringing the chin into the chest. Coming to a neutral spine, let's inhale, look over the left shoulder. And exhale, look over the right shoulder. Inhale over to the left and exhale over to the right. Coming to a neutral, let's inhale and lift the right ear up towards the ceiling, allowing the ear to come away from the shoulder, letting the shoulder relax down. And exhale, bringing your head through center, inhaling the left ear up, letting the left shoulder fall away from the ear, relaxing, and exhale through center. 
Inhale one more time, lifting the right ear up. And exhale through center. Inhale, picking the left ear up. And exhale through center. Now with our next inhale, let's go ahead and lean forward just a little bit, bringing a little bit of weight into our feet. And we're going to inhale, lengthen up through the spine, let the shoulder blades come close towards each other, and let's let the arms rise. Reaching up, feeling the palms touch, and exhale, let the arms fall to our sides. With your next inhale, let the arms rise, press the feet into the floor, lengthen up through the spine, palms will touch, and exhale, the arms will come down. Let's bring the hands to the tops of the thighs. Let's inhale, press the hands into the thighs, press the feet into the floor, and rise up through the crown of the head, and exhale. Let's let the legs go wide. So let the legs go a little bit wide on the chair. Uh, feet are just about on either side of the chair legs, keeping the hands on the knees for stability. Let's inhale, lengthen up through the chin, lengthen up through the chest, let the heart lift gently and exhaling, letting the heart come down towards the belly, bringing the chin in towards the chest. Now we're getting more into a seated cat cow. Now let's inhale, allow the pelvis to tilt forward, let the heart reach up, let the chin look up, squeeze those shoulder blades together, exhale, Bring the heart and belly in towards the spine, tilting that pelvis backwards. The chin comes into the chest. Inhale. The navel and the heart come forward. The pelvis tilts forward and the chin looks up. Shoulder blades squeeze. And exhale. Let the shoulder blades come away from each other. Let the belly come in towards the spine and the pelvis tilts backwards. Now let's come to a nice neutral seated position. Bringing the feet about hips distance apart and then inching forward on the chair so that our sits bones can be felt just behind the edge of the chair. So basically, You'll, you'll feel right where that's at. So we don't wanna feel the tops of our legs on the chair anymore. We wanna inch forward just enough so that we just feel the bones back by our tail. Now with your next inhale, let's inhale, let the arms rise up, lengthen up through the front body, feeling your feet on the floor, maybe even pressing the feet into the floor, feeling your legs activate. And exhale, bring the hands down. Now we're gonna inhale, reach the hands forward. Nice long spine, reaching, reaching, reaching. You can even tuck the chin and exhale. Bring the hands back to the thighs coming back to seated. And we'll inhale one more time, reach those hands out, bring the belly on top of the legs, tucking the chin, really nice flat spine, weight is in our feet. And exhale, sitting up, hands come to the knees to help us sit up. Now we're gonna transition into standing, let's inhale, and let's let the weight come into our feet. Let those hands reach forward and let those hands lift our tail up off the chair. Exhale, bring the hands to the knees. Nice flat back. 
Now pressing the hands into the knees, let's inhale, press the hands in, press the feet in, and gently rise all the way up, lengthen up through the spine, up through the fingertips, palms touch, and exhale, bring the hands back down, exhale all the way back down. Now inhale, let's lengthen up, reach the arms all the way up, maybe a little bit of a back bend, heart comes up, lifting the chin gently, and let's exhale, bring the hands down onto the thighs, slide them down to the knees, and start a little bend in the knee. Let that tail come down and gently find the chair, coming back into seated. Let's inhale, leaning forward, reaching those hands out, letting those hands lift our tail up off the chair, exhaling the hands back onto the knees. Inhale, pressing the hands into the knees, pressing the feet into the floor. We're gonna rise very gently up through the spine, through the crown of the head, through those fingertips. Reach and lengthen up and exhale, we're gonna bring the hands down to the thighs, slide them down to the knees, bend in the waist, bend in the knees, and let the tail sit back on the chair. Good. Let's do that one more time. Nice and controlled, very easy transitions from seated to standing. One more time, inhale, lengthen through those fingertips, transferring your weight forward into the feet. Let those hands lift up your tail. Exhale the hands to the knees. And inhale, pressing the hands in, pressing into the feet. We rise all the way up, reaching the hands up. And exhale, hands come down. Now let's turn around to face the chair. We're going to do a couple of sun salutations using a chair as a prop. And this is a really great way to figure out in your body how not only you can use a chair in yoga, but just generally in life. If you're ever having issues, if you're sore, if your knees just really, really hurt, this is a really great way to practice how to get up and down off the floor using a chair. So standing, let's say maybe about a foot, foot and a half in front of the chair. Feet are hips distance apart. We're gonna inhale, press the feet into the floor, lengthen up through the arms. And we're gonna exhale, just as we did earlier, bring the hands to the thighs very slowly. Let the hands slide down to the knees. And then bring the hands to the chair. Nice flat back. We want a nice straight line between the crown of the head and the tail. Feeling the hands and the palms on the chair. Feel all 10 fingers. Feel the entire palm. Nice bend in the elbows and hugging those elbows in towards the body. We don't want them to flare out. Keep them tucked nice and, nice and tight. Let's inhale. Straighten the legs, or yes, yeah, straighten the legs and the arms. We're pressing up into a flat back. And then let's exhale, fold. If you can keep your legs straight, great. If it starts to pull a little bit in those hamstrings, just give them a little bit of a bend. Allow the belly to rest on top of the thighs. And if you would like, and if you're able, bring your forehead to the chair. Spend maybe a breath or two here. Maybe feeling how the spine decompresses. Feeling strength in our legs. Now with your next inhale, let's press the feet into the floor. Press the hands into the chair. We're going to come up to a flat back. And exhale, fold again. Belly into the thighs chin into the chest or forehead on the chair. Now to stand up, let's hinge our weight back into our heels, press into our hands, 
and very slowly press the feet into the floor. Let the hands leave the chair, lengthen up through the arms. Exhale, the hands back down. Now we're gonna get down to the floor. Let's inhale, rise up through the arms. Exhale, fold right here at the waist. Nice bend in the knees, bring the hands to the chair, forward fold. And then we'll inhale for a flat back, straightening the legs and the arms, pressing the hands in. Let's inhale. And as we exhale, let's very gently bend the knees and you can go down one knee at a time, top of the foot to the floor. And now we're down on our knees. Let's inhale, lengthen up, press the hands into the floor or into the chair, lengthen up through the heart and exhale. Let's let the tail come back towards the heels, pressing the chair away. Now inhale, press into the tops of the feet. Allow the tail and the legs to rise up. We're gonna lean a little bit into the hands and tuck the toes behind you. Now inhale, press into the hands let your weight shift back on your toes, back into your tail. And we'll very slowly inhale, pressing the feet into the floor and gently come up to a flat back. Inhaling and exhaling. Now let's go ahead and shift our weight back into the tail. Let the hands come up off the chair and inhale it up. Let the arms lift you up into Tadasana. Exhale the hands down. Now we'll do a full sun salute. Down dog included, but chair dog. It's a chair dog, so you'll be good. All right. With your inhale, the arms will rise, will lengthen up. Exhale, we're gonna fold, hinging at the waist, bend in the knees, belly into the thighs. Hands come to the chair. Inhale, pressing into the chair, pressing the feet into the floor. Let's exhale, we're just gonna take a step back with both feet and press the chair away from us, letting the tail reach up and back. Feeling the toes on the floor, feeling weight in our feet. Let's inhale, bend in the knees. Very gently, support in the hands, very slowly let those knees come to the floor and then tops the feet. And let's bring our hands to the floor. Kind of walk your legs back. Let's do a quick cat cow here, inhale, to a cow, tail and chin look up, and exhale, pressing the floor away with the hands and the knees, bringing the navel in towards the spine. One more time, inhale, cow, exhale, cat. Coming to a neutral back, let's bring the hands back up to the chair, maybe scoot a little bit forward, Tuck the toes. Let's inhale, press into the chair. Let the weight hinge back into our feet. And exhale, press into those feet. Coming into a chair dog. And then we're gonna inhale, press into the feet. Straighten the hips, coming into a chair plank. So feeling your weight in your hands. Let's go ahead and walk the feet forward, exhale, fold. And then inhale, very slowly, pressing the hands into the chair, letting the weight transfer into the feet, the arms rise, can you reach all the way up? And exhale. Now another way you could use the chair 
is you could use the back side. So if, um, if something like this, if you're really, really stiff, or if you know someone who can't quite reach all the way down there, that's perfectly acceptable, perfectly fine. You can always use the back of the chair too, and you do not have to go all the way down to the floor. But you can basically do the same kinds of things. So using your hands to press into the back of the chair, you can do little chair dogs. You can even bend at the knees and help you with little flows using chairs. However you want to use the chair, they're a great tool as a support system in, in gentle movements in yoga. So let's go back to this way. And then we'll turn around. So to conclude our little chair flow, let's do one more inhale, reach it up, lengthen through the arms, and we're gonna exhale, fold at the waist, let our tail find the chair, bend in the knees. <sighs> Go ahead and shimmy on back, feel your back on the back of the chair, feel your feet on the floor. Um, feet are about hips distance or chair width apart. Let's inhale, press the hands into the thighs and exhale. Inhale, exhale. Let's bring a hand to the heart, hand to the belly. Inhale, feel the breath, fill the body underneath the hands. And exhale. Excellent. Thank you for joining me in chair yoga. You can even raise your hands. <laughs> so that was fun. I hope you liked that little bit of a variation. Um, spread it around. Tell your friends. If you have any suggestions for movement-based um, stuff, <laughs> does it doesn't have to be yoga because yoga is kind of everything, let me know. Let me know in the comments, subscribe, like, share me with your friends. There are some playlists on my channel now that you can go to. I've got gentle flow, 15 minute fast flow. I'm gonna start a chair series. I'm gonna add some meditations, some breath work. Yeah. So let me know what you think. If you like my chair yoga, awesome. If not, whatever. <laughs> That's okay. Um, so join me in some of my other flows if you'd like to. And uh, tell your friends. Hit that subscribe button. And I hope you have a holistic life today. See you later. <laughs>